Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to create a Digipad for your students to categorize information. Digipad is one of the many tools offered by La Digital, a collection of free open source resources for education. You will first go to ladigital.dev and you will scroll down to find one of their many tools called Digipad. And then I'll click on use. I do connect to my Digipad to Digipad because I want to have access to my other boards, my boards later on. So there we go. Once you're here, you're going to create a pad just like this. This one will be S333. Create. So this Digipad is ready to use, but this one is more of a blank template and that's not the way I want it. So I will first go in the little setting uh, wheel right here. Here I can find, first of all, I could change the title of my pad if I needed to. I have the link and QR code if I wanted to share it with my students. And then I can decide if this access to the Digipad is public, private, uh, protected. Um, so you can go and change all of these little settings right here. For my board, I want it to be columns because I'm going to put different categories. The students have read different texts and I want them to, I want them to categorize the information they have read. So I'm going to put column right here. I'm going to change another uh, background. I could upload my own image if I wanted to. So there you go. You have different uh, options here if you wanted them to write their name, if you wanted them to be able to record their, record the response, but for this board, I don't need that. So I'll just leave it like this. So let's say uh, I wanted them to categorize information according to three categories. I could just go in here and write the name of my first category and then another one, category two, and then automatically adds one so I would put official title right here I won't put more and when the students will enter my digipad they will be able to click on the little plus sign right here and write the information they want to categorize they'll write a title they'll write text they could even share an image um, or link if they wanted to in that case I want them to categorize the information from the text to uh, better their understanding. So that's how I would do it. And once I'm ready, I just go back to my options and I share the link to my students in my Google Classroom or Teams, or I have them scan the QR code right here. So I hope this was helpful.